Greetings and salutations. This is Evelina Malek, Lady of the Realm. And she, I am back with another Eve's vocab of the week. Okay. And this week, we will start off with the word gammy. Yeah, I know what it sounds like, but it's not that, so. It means, means a girl with a boyish demeanor and mischievous nature who is somehow still appealing. And for this particular example, I believe I decided to go with someone like me. Even though I don't think I look too boyish in it. I guess, but anyways, I was this an I am a gammy. Uh people like Spinelli they are gammies. You know, Spinelli from Recess. Yeah. You know, she was yeah, she's got a boyish demeanor. Uh a lot of characters I grew up with were gammies, but that's okay. I think it's cool. Um, next word is FLEER. Yeah, that's a weird word. I, I suppose it's French. It sounds French. It basically means to grin or laugh mockingly. Told you it was the French. They mock us with their horribleness. Anyways, your friends tend to FLEER. When your mom calls you by your full name. Basically, your first, your second, right, your first, your last, and your middle. I'll go into this later. <laughs> when I feel up to it. Anyways, third word, which is phonetic. Marked by a bad temper, malevolence, or spite. Hey. There were times where people would have assumed that my father and I would be splenetic. Hey. With the fact that we both had bad tempers or short tempers at times. Hey. And now, the next word. And this one was a bizarre word, but it's also a Latin word and a Greek and Greek Roman word. Greek probably is a better term. But anyways, it's Parnassus. Yes. And the definition I chose that Study Blue gave to me, which was the home of the muses. Or uninspiring the writing. Basically, think of the school of Parnassus. It was the French school that taught poetry and taught about how to write poetry and such by repressing your emotive behavior. So basically, that's not a school you go to to vent your emotions. If you catch my drift. But anyways, I could s I decided to use this as a adjective and, and said I found the writing of a certain author author huh, to be paras paranasian. Pernation. And because of his lack where when it came down to the storyline and the characters his motives. Yeah, four number four. And this one is again another Greek word. And it has to do something in psychology. It's Hiba 
Hemophrenic. Hey. A psychological disorder. And as in quotation marks, characterized by silliness, delusion, or regression. And it's from the Latin phrases from <laughs> Goddess of Youth. Kind of weird as a girl. Anyways, I am a hebephrenic gamete who still likes Pokemon. Yeah. Basically saying, yeah, I am a childish, boyish looking girl who likes Thanks, Pokemon. Another good example is some men and women over the age of 30 can be very hypophrenic. Next word is number five. Number five is, um, is stole it. And it's spelled S T O L I D. Hey, write down if you can't remember any of these words. We play this video, and like I said, the link will be down in the description. So if you don't trust my hey, pronunciation and your gifted spelling, it's a, uh, that you're on YouTube. Hey. Anyways, the phrase is. Uh, means emotionally unmoving, stared, flamenc. And I used it in the following sentence, which is, after watching the news, I became stolid. Okay. Uh, another good example is, most people today are stolid when it comes to the problems of teenagers. Not gonna lie. Um, number six, as your bonus word for this week, is fraught. Yeah, I like this word. You just got a funny name. Fraught. 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 Careful not to make it sound like fraught. However, and it means it's an adjective meaning marked by distress. Filled with or attended with. Okay. And I can say Freddy Krueger is fraught with crazy ideas to kill people or hapless daydreaming teens. As well as really, really bad puns. Yeah. Got a lot of bad puns. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. If you could, please subscribe, comment, and rate this video. Uh, and, please follow the links down in the description for my Twitter and my Tumblr, as well as if you want to learn more words that I plan to put up here uh, on my YouTube for words of the week. <laughs> It'll be in the, in the description. Anyways, this is Evelina Malley, Lady of the Realm. Tell ya, good night and.